Now let's do question number six. Question number six says, write out a balanced net ionic equation for the reaction of aqueous solutions of cadmium 2 chloride and sodium sulfide. Okay, so what's going on here? We are now doing what's called a precipitation reaction, aka a, a net ionic equation. So what's going on here? What happens is, is you guys have some aqueous solution which means that you have some stuff dissolved in water. And in this case, you have sodium sulf sulfide and you have cadmium chloride. And you're going to now be making CdS and NaCl. Now, the first thing you have to do is you are going to have to first balance this. So, let's see if we're balanced. So I have one cadmium, one cadmium, two chlorides, two chloride, one chloride. So I need to put a two here. And so now I have two sodiums, two sodiums, and I'm good. So, this is what's called the total, or the molecular, equation. The teaching center. This you is what the equation looks like center. in full. But then, when you dissolve, everything that is dissolved in the reaction gets separated. Now, a quick little thing. Is cadmium sulfide a solid or aqueous? Well, if you look at your solubility rules, it's solid. So what happens now is we realize is that this is going to be CD2 plus AQ plus 2 Cl minus Aq, because we have 2 chlorides, plus 2 Na plus Aq, plus S2 minus Aq, and this is going to form CdS, because the, because the solid does not separate, plus 2 Na plus Aq, plus 2 Cl minus Aq. Please let me not run out of the board. And that is your total net ionic equation. I should just call it, this is your total ionic equation. However, this is not your net. The net ionic equation is the equation that shows the actual reaction that is occurring. Because remember guys, when you have stuff in solution, they're, you know, they're just floating around, you know, just floating, just having a party, and they're not reacting. However, some of the ions might react, which is why the cadmium sulfide is formed. And so now what we need to do is we need to get rid of the spectator ions. Now what are spectator ions? Okay, so most of you are better freshmen, so you're probably here going to school for the next four years. Congratulations. Now, of course, no gator is good. Well, I should say no gator is a good gator unless you go to a football game, which I sadly didn't go to until my senior year because I was lame like that. Anyway, but... You, as a gator, are going to watch this football game, and you will be a spectator. Now, spectators appear on the left and the right side of a stadium. The same way, spectator ions, or ions that don't even react in this reaction, are on the left and right sides of the equation, also known as the reactants and the products. So, let's see what we got here. If we have two chlorides on this side and we have two chlorides on this side, that means that both of them are spectators. So these guys go away. Bye-bye. Also, we have two sodiums on both sides. So those go away. So now we have our net ionic equation, which is just CD2 plus AQ plus S2 minus AQ goes to CDS solid. And you have your answer, and this is the net ionic equation. Now, before we go, let me ask you another question. What would happen if I had a net ionic equation like this? Is this a net is this an ionic equa net ionic equation or not? The answer is yes, because of the fact that you have a liquid. Now I bet some of you are like, "Wait, Jason, water is aqueous, so doesn't it separate?" No. 
what will separate are ions in solution. But water itself is not an ion. It's a compound. So anything that is either solid, liquid, or gas on the product side will not separate in an ionic equation. And so that is your answer as well. If you, uh, any of you were confused about, well, what if I make something with a liquid or a gas on the product side? Well, just remember, guys, every time you have a net ionic equation, there isn't a reaction occurring. There is a reaction occurring. There is a reaction occurring if you make either a solid, liquid, or a gas. And, but back to your question, CD2 plus plus S2 minus form CD sulfide, and that's your answer.